the Leopard Town Club Members Handicap is next. This is a 0 to 95 over 10 furlongs. Uh, at the top, we've got Desperate Housewife for Padre Hogan, Santa Monica Emerald for Vinnie Gerard, Lascivious for Padre Hogan, Pearls Oberon, James Shea, Takitu Memento, Rod McLeod, Maid of Orleans, Kevin Meanhand, Mystified, Craig Beck with Steamboat, Sally, Graham Clutterbuck, Ballerina Queen, Martin Leadham, Osdemona, Candlelight, James Shea, and Gia Denied for Ben Benici. So 11 of them in this one. Ready to go, and away they go. And uh, Ballerina Queen, the grey was out nicely, and so too on the inside was Desperate Housewife, and it's Desperate Housewife who's going to get the lead, I think, from Ballerina Queen and Taki 2 Memento, who's all swapped there, but there. there's about six of them in a line, and nothing seems all that keen to be the leader. Santa Monica Emerald in the green jacket came through to share it for a second or two there. Desperate Housewife on the inside, the pace is a little pedestrian, and there's only four lengths first to last at the moment. Desperate Housewife has finally settled down into the lead with Osdemona Candlelight in second, then Gia denied and the serious wide on the track wide is still made of all leans that one is quite wide going to be about four or five wide coming round to the turn if he doesn't get in a little bit before then but Desperate Housewife is clear in front by about a length and three quarters to Osdemona Candlelight in the green in second and then wide out on the track Lascivious Tacky Two Memento is on the inside of that one the um Vinnie Gerard horse in the two shades of green. Santa Monica Emerald is nicely placed. So too on the inside. Craig Beck with Mystify will get a clear run through if he's got the speed to take it. Looking towards the back. Ballerina Queen of Cray is now looking for some racing room to try and make a forward move. But it's Desperate Housewife who leads by two to Osdemona Candlelight in second. G89 is third. And then Taki Two Memento. Ballerina Queen has taken that gap that appeared to be there for Mystify and has come through well. Lascivious is trying to get going on the outside. Also to his Steamboat Sally. But it's Desperate Housewife who's still clear by two lengths with just about three furlongs still to race. They're swinging towards home now and it's Desperate Housewife in the lead from Osdemona Candlelight. Now Mystify gets the room and Ballerina Queen might be trapped in her pocket. Taki Two Memento's next. Then after that one is made of all in. Steamboat Sunny's trying to get a bit there past the two and it's still Desperate Housewife in the lead. Mystify in hot pursuit in second. Osdemona Candlelight, Taki Two Memento and then Ballerina Queen when they've got against it. Desperate Housewife and the Desperate Housewife is still clear past the furlong pole. And Desperate Housewife just not like she's stopping. Desperate Housewife is pulling away now then. And Desperate Housewife is going to take this pretty cosily. And it might be a 1-2 for Patrick Hogan. Up towards the line. It's Desperate Housewife that takes it mighty close to the minus Steamboat Sally. Take it to Memento. And also Perla Oberon coming through with a late run as well. But it's Desperate Housewife. Pillar to post really. It really looked like being beaten. And takes it pretty comfortably. Ease down as well. So Desperate Housewife, the winner for Padraig Hogan. Off top weight as well. So that's a pretty impressive performance. That one will be up in class next week. Steamboat Sally for Graham Clutterbuck got second. Pearls Oberon for James Shea finished well for third. Takitu Memento for Rod McClure was fourth. And Lascivious for the winning trainer Padraig Hogan was fifth. <laughs>